you guys so in today's video we are going to be romanticizing the winter because it's so easy i feel like in the winter to be a little sad because the weather's gloomy sometimes there's a lot of rainy days it's cold and sometimes it's easy to look at the negative side of things especially this time of year when it's kind of gross outside so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys a few things that i like doing to kind of just like boost my mood in the winter romanticize it actually learn to like it so because i know a lot of people struggle with um seasonal depression or a lot of people just like their moods go down in the winter and I kind of feel this too if I don't push myself to do certain things. It's just kind of easy to look outside and be like, ew, and then not want to do anything. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I like to romanticize the winter. So I just did my makeup. I tried to do a little bit of like the cold cold girl inspired makeup. I don't know if you guys saw that on TikTok. Um, it's like a trend going around, but basically all you have to do is like just add extra blush. And then I'm just going to add this like benetint to my lips it's just like um cheek and lip stain but i really like how this sits on my lips just gives them a little color okay i know this is like the most cliche thing in the world but <laughs> what helps me romanticize the winter is coming to starbucks okay because it doesn't only give me something to drink like you know like a coffee or whatever but it literally just gives me something to do and if i like make a trip out to grocery shop or whatever it is it's like when it's pouring rain when it's gloomy outside getting a starbucks drink or even just like going to a cafe and getting a drink like it doesn't even have to be starbucks but going out to get yourself a drink just makes me personally feel so good and it really does elevate my mood and it's like five to seven dollars best five to seven dollars in my opinion spent like yeah a lot of people are gonna be like if you go out and get your coffee out it's a waste of money and like if you look at it that way it's like okay i guess like it could be a waste of money but if you look at it in the other sense where it's like you're not just taking into account the actual coffee you're taking into account your happiness the way it makes you feel the yumminess you know what i mean it's worth the money to me and a lot of things in life it's like people deem them as wastes of money but if it makes you happy then do it anyways like who gives a shit if buying your coffee every morning is the one thing that brings you happiness then keep buying it do not stop buying it like who cares if you would save two hundred dollars a month not doing that like if you can afford it do it and if it makes you happy do it currently just in the starbucks drive through i've literally gotten the chestnut praline time and time again this holiday season but i think i'm gonna get it again because it is just my favorite i used to really love the gingerbread latte but they got rid of that sadly but yeah the just that pretty lean latte is really good and especially on a gloomy day it's nice to get a hot drink i know a lot of people are not into the hot drink vibe and they like still drinking cold i personally when it like gets cold outside i lean more towards hot drinks i do like still having iced once in a while but there's something about like especially like the holiday drinks around christmas time getting a hot drink is just it hits different for me it really does so anyways that is what we're doing <laughs> Um, a chestnut praline latte with oat milk. Absolutely. Anything else? Actually, can I try the cranberry bliss bar? It's a I'll see you at the window. Awesome. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so I also ended up getting a little treat because I saw it on like the screen and I'm like this looks so good Let's try it. Hold on. I'm gonna pull over See like doing things like this just makes me so happy. Look at this. It's so cute. Are you kidding? That is like cream cheese icing on it. That is so good. I got my chestnut praline. Cheers Okay, so I just got to the mall and this is something that I really love doing during the winter something to do that's super fun indoors and Especially around the Christmas time when they have like the Christmas tree up it's like kind of busy like i love that vibe in the winter and around christmas especially of going to the mall because like honestly going to the mall is not something that i really like doing in the summer because i'd rather be going to the beach or whatever you know what i mean it's not really something i think of, of doing in the summer but going to the mall is like the perfect thing to do in the winter because there's not many outdoorsy things to do and so yeah i do have a couple of christmas gifts to buy i'm not gonna say what i'm buying because if the people are watching it i don't want them to obviously know but i'm gonna get some christmas shopping done here i'm gonna try to spend under an hour here hopefully and then yeah because i haven't even started any christmas shopping yet which is so bad but anyways let's go shopping <laughs> So 
I'm currently at Whole Foods. I finished up at the mall. It was actually very accomplished, but unfortunately, I cannot tell you guys anything I got, but it was so Christmassy in there. The Christmas music was playing. It wasn't that busy because it's a weekday, which was really nice, um, but it was just such a vibe. I love shopping at Christmas time. I just need to get a few other things online. Like, I still have other stuff to get, but it's, like, not as, like, I can just ship that, so it's not as big of a deal. I also need to get wrapping paper. I haven't even gotten that this year because usually I just use my parents because I used to live with them but now I actually got to get my own which is kind of cute because I can get like cute ones you know um gonna do grocery shop again this is something that I like to romanticize in the winter whether that's like putting airpods in when I grocery shop yeah it's just something that I can actually get out of the house to do and it forces me to leave the house which I need things to force me to leave the house in the winter because it's so easy just to sit inside I like to kind of take my time with it especially romanticize it like soak in grocery shopping because it's something that we Need to do in life and like you need to get food so may as well make the most of it and romanticize doing it let's grocery shop I just got home from grocery shopping um, It's so weird because it's only five o'clock right now and it's literally already dark outside Which is so I'm still getting adjusted even though it's been like this for like a while now I'm still getting adjusted to it being dark. But anyways, I need to unload the groceries clean out the fridge Honestly, it's kind of funner to do in-house chores when it's winter Because like I was explaining before when it's summer like we all want to be outside We all want to go to the beach or I want to just be outside 24 7 literally like when i'm in in the house in the summer i almost feel guilty but in the winter i feel like cleaning and like just doing tasks like that like mundane tasks like that it just almost like funner to do because since there's not much to do outdoors it's like oh okay like i want to go clean that might probably not that's probably not for everybody but for me personally i just prefer cleaning in the winter and i just love cleaning my house so yeah if you guys are feeling a little um like you're in a slump because of the weather and stuff deep clean something deep clean your bathroom deep clean your room even just like look through your clothing like just deep clean something and i'm i promise you it'll make you feel so much better and it gives you something to do when it's like disgusting outside you know so before i even unpack the groceries we are going to clean out the fridge just because i don't like putting groceries in the fridge when it's dirty like i just i just hate that that's one of my pet peeves i can't do that like i need to clean the whole fridge out and then the new groceries can go in it just makes it feel so much better and then that way i'm cleaning out my fridge a lot more frequently it doesn't take as long as if you like wait a month to do it so just connected my phone to the speaker i'm gonna play some christmas music because that also helps romanticize thing things just like playing music in general i love jazz music that also helped me so much in the morning especially yeah right now i'm just gonna play christmas music because i'm in the mood i love this christmas song so much Okay, so here is, oh god, I'm missing a nail. We're gonna get that done soon. But here is the overview grocery haul of everything. Um, I'll just go quickly through it. I got a pile of meat for dinner here. And then I got, like I got like chicken and stuff. And then I got baby arugula, I love this stuff. I got eggs, I got flour tortillas, because I'm gonna be making some wraps. Um, a huge thing of lettuce, avocado, mushrooms, because I've been on a mushroom kick recently and I don't know why, but I've just been wanting to cook with them and stuff. So I got mushrooms, um, I got broccoli, and then I just got a bunch of healthy alternative chips. Um, I got bagels, English muffins, and then I got this healthier version of ranch. I got ravioli because this is just like a quick, easy dinner. And then I also got this um, sauce to go with it. And then I also picked up some hummus. This one has really good ingredients. There's no canola oil or, it, or anything in it bad like that. So I got some hummus. And then I also got these pita chips, which I've never tried to go with the hummus. So I hope that's good. And then, yeah, other than that, I just got um, zevias. And then I got two things of butter. But yeah, that's a little haul. And now I'm going to put it all away in the clean fridge. It just feels so good that the fridge is clean. So 
one thing that you guys can do in the winter as well that i love doing is going out take like getting dressed in a cute outfit because in the winter time it's like so much easier for fashion wise like in the summer it's like so basic it's like tank top shorts bikinis and like that's about it but in the winter it's like you can wear jackets scarves toques earmuffs long sleeves coats puffers like there's so much to do fashion wise in the winter and so i want to try to make like a whole bunch of cute winter fits and then like go and shoot them so this is my little outfit of the day that i'm gonna wear and i want to shoot it today so i'm actually going to go take photos with one of my friends we're just gonna go do some like an indoor photo shoot because the weather's kind of icky i put together a cute little outfit i got this scarf from garage then i got these cargos from garage and then this shirt is just from white fox but i'm going to roll the clip of me doing a garage haul because I did it a while ago, but I just haven't inserted it in a video yet. So I'm going to put it in this video. I got such cute things from them. But yeah, so I will roll the haul right now for you guys. Garage sent me a package of clothing. I've just been a huge fan of them for so long. And they freaking sent me a package of clothing. And I'm so grateful. Everything will be linked down below. So the first thing I got are these pants. As you can see, they're kind of like the dupes for the Aritzia ones. They fit so nicely. They even have like a jawstring here. So you can just adjust them. And I've been wanting a pair of these pants for so long now and they just fit so nicely. They're so chill. You can kind of like dress these up or dress them down. Big fan of these. And then I bought these parachute pants. These are so cute. I can't wait to make an outfit with these. How cute. They're low waisted too, which is such a vibe. And then they have a little cinch at the bottom. And then I got this puffer jacket. I've actually been really wanting a black puffer jacket because this one is so cute. Quality is so freaking good too. I'm just in love. And then I got this like Pinteresty. I just call this like a Pinterest leather jacket because these have been like the style has been so popular all over Pinterest. And wearing this with like a hoodie would be so cute. Like, are you kidding me? Obsessed with this. And yeah, I actually sized up in this one and got it in a small just so I can wear it like over hoodies and stuff. And then I got this color blocking scarf, which is so cute. The material is so soft and I was just in need of like more cute scarves. And then I got this hoodie. Can't have enough hoodies, honestly, just like plain classic hoodies. They have so many like cute ones on their website right now. And then I've been wanting one of these like jackets for so long now. They're so in style and I love how it's cropped. It just like reminds me of winter and Christmas. Obsessed with this jacket. Like I, I'm just in love with it. And then I just got the zip up. Can't have enough comfy basics just says bell air on it and then last thing that i got is this hoodie and it says beverly hills it's just like a really cute hoodie but yeah that's all that i got um thank you so much to garage for sending me all this this is like my childhood dream come true because i've been shopping there for years and i love their stuff so much it's so reasonably priced material quality is always so good like i said i'll have everything linked down below for you guys if you want to shop also one thing that i love doing is making like pinterest boards um, of like cute outfit inspo also just like cute winter inspo in general um, Go for me, follow me on Pinterest if you guys aren't already because I've been trying to pin a lot there and like be active on there So go follow me on Pinterest and honestly Pinterest is just one of my favorite social media platforms because it's just like Gives me so much inspiration and it just help, helps me romanticize just life in general but Yeah, I made a whole winter board with outfit inspo for winter and just like winter in general, but that's also such a fun thing to do just to get creative with it and make you, I guess, like romanticize and like winter a little bit more. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> So another way that I really like to romanticize the winter is cozying up, okay? Like just getting in comfy clothing and watching a movie, lighting a candle, getting all cozy and watching a movie. Like it's just like such a vibe. 
and especially in the winter things indoors just hit different like i've been saying um like watching a movie in the summer is just not the same as watching a movie inside in the winter like when you watch a movie and it's like raining outside it's just like vibes because you're inside you're all cozy and warm and it's just like the best feeling but like in the summer it's fun to go to like an outdoor movie and do stuff like that but i, I don't know i just feel like i just want to be outside constantly in the summer so that's why i'm like romanticizing these little things indoors and so honestly just like cozying up putting on comfy pajamas clothes or whatever and then putting on a movie or tv show like whatever and just getting cozy on the couch and just lighting a candle setting the vibe is just such a good way to romanticize the gloomy weather because it's so cozy like nothing hits better than like a rainy day and getting to relax and just like cozy up on the couch or like snowing are you kidding i'm gonna throw on a christmas movie i love watching just like those random ones on netflix because netflix has so many christmas movies even if i just have them like on in the background when i'm doing stuff it just like romanticizes the christmas season in general and i just love it so much it's so cozy to me um especially if you have a christmas tree app okay that is just like cozy vibes to the max yeah let's freaking put on a cozy movie and cuddle up okay you guys so it is now hot chocolate time because making drinks in the winter like warm hot drinks whether that's a tea hot chocolate something hot is just like like i said going to starbucks same idea but like making a drink like a tea at night hot chocolate at night or just like a little hot drink is so nice and it really does romanticize the winter it just makes it so cozy and warm and yeah so i'm gonna use this hot chocolate mix it's by carnation just your nose simple hot chocolate mix i like this one because it only has like five ingredients it's like not as bad probably as the other ones so and then putting some water and stirring it up cheers like a little steam coming out of it so good okay guys i just got to the nail salon my nails are so ratchet and grown out like i literally lost this nail and look how grown out there my appointment's literally right now so i have to go but i just wanted to show you guys the before um let me actually show you my inspo really quickly before we go in okay right, so here's my inspo it's just um red french chip because it's so Christmassy. so that's what we're doing guys i'm so obsessed the girl that i go to always slays like are you kidding me these are so cute i'm in love i forgot to put my rings on oops but um yeah i wanted to get something christmasy because obviously christmas is in like a couple weeks so yeah i did the red french tip and i love it so much it's just like so cute but yeah so i just wanted to include me getting my nails done in this video just because it's an indoor activity that can and does romanticize my winter like in the winter since i it's not summer i'm not like getting sun kissed you know what i mean i feel like i have to keep up other things so like a lot of people only get their nails done in the summer i feel like but for me i'm just kind of the opposite where i'd almost rather get them done in the winter instead i just want to keep my self-care up is what i'm saying and it's just something really nice to do in the winter yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video um i hope you guys had a fun time hanging out with me and getting to know how i like romanticizing the winter because i know that it's easy to feel down when it's like the weather is bad it's cold and dark um and it gets dark so early also don't forget to follow me on instagram um because i've been posting way more frequently on there and i've actually been like trying for that so go follow me on there you also can dm me on there like i always respond to my dms if i can yeah go follow me on instagram if you're not like what are you doing love you guys so much